Hey everybody, back with another video, this time Ghost Recon Multiplayer. This game is fun as hell, I just can't stop playing it, but uh, of course probably most of you haven't uh, played, the, played it or heard of this game, so I'll explain things on the way. But so, we're playing a multiplayer one versus one with AI, artificial intelligence, aka, I guess you could call them bots, but uh, they're really, really smart ones. Uh, I am the commander of the American Green Brats, nine-man squad with Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie teams in those teams, including uh, my me as well. I am on the ground, I have to fight, and... Uh, of course, uh, this is not like a RTS game or nothing like that, but it does require a lot of strategy, strategy, and that's why this is uh, fun. Of course, upon other things. Uh, but so my opponent uh, is the same, a commander, but only uh, he commands and controls and is a part of the Russian Spetsnaz. So real quick, uh, we're playing domination on the map Wilderness. Here, I'm giving orders to my team to spread out. You never want to have all your team, uh, your three-man teams together because the enemy can take them out so easily with a grenade. And, and I forgot to mention this. Uh, this is a recording. You can uh, view the recordings of every game in Ghost Recon that you play. So I'm switching and looking at my teammates and later on on the enemy team as well, thanks to the uh, game recording features. Uh, so this is this is like, uh, for instance, the huge zoom in uh, you can't do that in, uh, in the game itself uh, but so here uh, my team just killed an enemy the uh, enemies and uh, killed enemies show up on the map uh, as red uh, sort of red dots uh, they show up if you killed them uh, or uh, if your teammates have spotted one of them uh, so you have to uh, check your uh, map or mini map uh, quite uh, regularly. In this game there's a lot of strategical thinking going on because if you get shot you die, one bullet, one kill. Sometimes when you get hit in a leg or something then you're wounded but most of the times one shot, one kill. So there's a lot of hiding in the bushes, scouting the area. Right now I think the enemy is hiding behind the uh, wooden structure in the middle of the map so I'm just firing here and there, waiting if he fires back, uh, so I know for sure. Uh, as you can see, there is no actual gun visible uh, visible to the uh, player's screen, but it's just uh, how the game is, and I don't mind. I couldn't care less, really. Some people uh, have a problem with that, but uh, I don't really, I don't see why. But uh, but anyway, here right here, um, <coughs> there are some uh, Spetsnaz enemies running here on the mountain, and I'm firing here. This is the actual view that I zoomed back. That's my view. So right here we're zoomed in. Uh, I got I think I got one of them, and one of my uh, teams stationed around there got another one of them. So we got just I think we got like two of them. Uh, I'm just like firing here, trying to hit the, uh, trying to hit the, if anyone survived, I'm trying to hit that guy, so. And, uh, some of, somehow, they killed one of my, my teammates as well. Uh, bad positioning from my part. Uh, these AIs are really, uh, good. You just need to position them right. For them to be effective enough to kill the enemy. I, I just lost three men. I mean, it's all my fault. It was a bad strategy, bad planning, basically. So, uh, so right now I'm just shocked. Obviously, my strategy isn't working, quite working uh, at this point. So I decided to, or I decided to wait out a bit to see what my opponent is going to do because. I still think he's in the wooden structure, but I don't know that for sure. So, for all I know, he might be flanking me right now. So, uh, you know, 
Decide to camp in the bushes. Best strategy in the world at this point. Four men lost, so so uh, something is wrong right now. This guy right here is hiding in the uh, bushes, has lost both of his teammates and is just like hiding. And uh, th uh, the indicator slash radar that uh, you see of, uh, in the uh, bottom center of the screen indicates if the enemy is close by. Uh, if the enemy is like plus minus five feet from you away from you the indicators uh, middle circle goes red that practically means an imminent confrontation and right there uh, um, you just got one of them didn't even see what's coming so uh, and one of the uh, benefits of the gr linked green breaths is that or controlling them or whatever uh, is their camel I mean not you can't really see a lot of like Spetsnaz has good camo as well, but as you can see right here, he can't see shit and got killed. Simple as that. So right here, um, uh, got my confidence up and uh, I am moving uh, the uh, my teams again. Uh, I've speed this up a bit, so uh, it's quite a lot of uh, positioning and so forth. So now I. I don't remember how, but I knew that the remaining men of uh, Spetsnaz were um, in hiding in the uh, wooden structure, so I'm moving my men uh, towards the uh, wooden structure, positioning them, trying to flank uh, all sides. Right here, we're switching to Spetsnaz point of view, and uh, as you can see, they're they're hiding in the uh, wooden structure right now, and uh, my team is trying to push them out trying to hammer them uh, see if anything hits and of course they're forced to fire back 